Derek Dietrich is someone who hit three home runs yesterday for the Cincinnati Reds. He now has 17 home runs this season. The Marlins waived him. I said uh, two seasons ago, but Mike Ryan claims it was last season that Derek Dietrich is not a major leaguer. I saw him uh, awkwardly on his bicycle, shirtless, looking dreamy right outside the Clevelander here. I looked in his Blue Lagoon eyes, and I wondered, (laughs) did he hear me say that he was not a major leaguer? So now he has three home runs, but did you see how that came to be? Because it's not just that the waved Marlin is hitting a bunch of home runs. The waved Marlin has in-your-face swagger. He's got uh, the only game-winning hit I can remember in baseball that involved him being shirtless at the end of a game, running around the field shirtless and looking beautiful doing it. (laughs) Just tremendous. But they were feuding, the Pirates and the Reds. They were feuding because the last time Derek Dietrich hit a home run against them, he took his time making his way around the bases, stared at the home run, then they ended up throwing at him, Stugat. Yep. So two days ago... He hits another home run, and this time he goes around the bases even slower. It takes him 30 seconds to run the bases. You think the Pirates are going to throw at him? Nope. He comes back the next day, three home runs. (laughs) Eat some of that. Like, how good does that have to feel if the Pirates are trying to eradicate your personality? They're throwing baseballs at you. Both sides are fighting. Everyone thought he was going to eat another baseball last night because he, he did an even longer trot than the last time. Right, and he hits three. He I mean, hits that, three. That has to feel great. Um, I wonder, do they play again? Because something's definitely coming at him today. It has to, right? Like, at what point do you draw the line and say, hey, you know what? Dietrich is getting a fastball sandwich. You're just going to throw at him today after the three home runs? I mean, if he's pimping out trots and taking his sweet time and admiring his home runs and he's got five against you in a couple of games, I mean, yeah, I think he, I, I, I'm guessing those unwritten rules of baseball, someone's going to throw a fastball at him. It should have been last night. I'm guessing they regret that after the three home run night. Let me ask you this question as the Patriots endure another suspension. Do the Marlins have 17 home runs as a team? Well, they hit their first three-run homer of the season <laughs> last night. They had a couple last night. Uh, is there a rule in baseball, Dan, you're the baseball expert here, uh, where Derek Dietrich has to wear a uniform? Like, can they just paint his number onto his back and then maybe fill Body in? Body painting? Yeah. Like, I mean, I would think that just painting a 22 on his back would be against the rules, but let's say they just paint on the uniform. So you want it to be sort of like a swimsuit issue type of thing? Well, I don't want to objectify Derek Dietrich. He's more than just a piece of meat. Why but... not? Well, because I, I feel like it's not appropriate he for He might us to be, be more than a piece of meat, but he's a piece of meat. I mean, he's filet mignon. Oh, he's We're going to get to the meat. <laughs> Dude, he's grade A beef king. Oh, my God. <laughs> they, uh, to answer Kobe, your question, Kobe beef. they make everybody wear the uniforms, and they strictly enforce it. Remember when Terry Francona, they checked his uniform. Uh, Tito. But if you just paint on the uniform, who's to know, right? Uh, well, everyone. Everyone, everyone who's watching. Every, everyone, would know every, everyone who's everyone watching would, would notice that guy's that, not that, wearing that a uniform. But would he's anyone got, care? He's I got mean. he's got body paint. No, on. like if you paint on the red uniform and you do the C like on his chest and you just do like a very detailed. You can even do, Dan, you've seen it. You could do the stitching now where it looks like he's wearing clothes. Like you brought up the swimsuit edition. This is something that's that's happened before. So if you bring in a professional body painter, who's to know that he's not wearing an actual shirt? Baseball strikes you as progressive in that regard, does it? 